Wakey, wakey, earthquakey. We're having an earthquake? No, no, no. I'm just playing the wrestler wake up game, man. Relax. You might want to choose a less terrifying wrestler name next time. Yeah, noted. We made it. Already? It really didn't seem like we were driving two days. Gee, I wonder why. It's because you've been asleep the entire two days. Hey, I need my genius promoter rest. Uh huh. How do you say I need a shower in Spanish? Necesita un shower? I don't know. I don't remember the word for shower. <laughs> You're a lot of hell. Did you see that? What? That masked guy who attacked me, he's here. I just saw him. I think you're seeing things from being awake for so long. I'm telling you that was him. How about you get some rest before your big match tonight? We need to keep all our momentum going. Can't have any setbacks due to hallucinations, you know. That wasn't a hallucination. All right. Wait, stop, pull over! What, what is it? Did you see him? No! I want to try some authentic Mexican street corn. You're the worst. Qué noche hermosa. Hace buen tiempo mientras estamos afuera. Tal vez el mago lo controla. Lucharán. Vos ha ganado todas sus luchas, pero el mago tiene sus trucos. Muy impresionante la lucha libre de vos. Tal vez hizo su tarea. Los dos luchadores al punto de convertirse en superestrellas. ¿Quién será? ¿Quién va a ser? Escuché que el adversario del mago habla español. Pues bienvenidos a México, vos, y buena suerte. A mí no me parece que vos tenés miedo. Si hubiera luchado contra Braun Strowman, tampoco tendría miedo. Vos tiene el impulso, pero el mago puede hacerlo desaparecer. No parece cansado. Tal vez tenía un buen viaje. Solamente lo mejor por los hombres de Bumble. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa aquí? Es el enmascarado que atacó al boss en el evento de WWE. ¡Qué horror! ¡Terrible! ¡Qué lástima que esta lucha tremenda termina así! ¡Llévaselo de aquí! ¡Sácalo!
Now do you believe me? I guess so. Look, I don't know why you're doing this, but I am not gonna let you try to ruin my career ever again. Lo siento, soy un fan y solo quería atención. Perdóname, por favor. What's he saying? Did he admit to everything? <sighs> no. He's a fan. He's just craving attention. He's a copycat. He's not the same guy. Let him go. Oh. Gracias, señor. Oye, ¿puedo tener un autógrafo? You have a marker. You're a better man than I am. Don't do that again, Buzz. Gracias. Well, your big Mexico debut didn't go quite as planned, but the match was great up until the end. And any publicity is good publicity, right? You've still got the buzz going. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Let me take a shower. You mean Ducha? I looked it up. This is what you had to build for our big rematch, right? What is it, a tetanus tornado match? Yep, it's a beauty, don't you think? I'd say it's more beast than beauty. Well, its official name is the Scrap Trap. Not only are we going to have our biggest streaming audience yet, we're doing it in one of WWE's most iconic venues. It's like we're invading their territory. Man, I wish I could see the look on Triple H's face when he sees this. Where did this even come from? Where did you dig this up? All over. I salvaged it from other wrestling promotions, a junkyard scrap. That section is from WCW's Triple Cage. That is from an ECW cage. And I believe that side used to be an old prison fence. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? I think a better name would be Death Trap. This violates every health code known to mankind. <laughs> yeah, it does. I saw what happened in Mexico. Too bad some idiot had to go and ruin a great match. <laughs> yes, Baron. Japan was great. I was free to be myself, and the fans really respected that. So, I'm gonna try that from now on here in the U.S. Really? <laughs> yeah, assuming I survived the scrap trap tonight. I do always say that, but that's not the catchphrase I was referring to. Yes, that's the one. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Have you had a tetanus shot recently? Two are now international stars. 
Having recently wrestled in Japan and Mexico, BCW is truly becoming a phenomenon around the mundo. I picked up a little Spanish down in Mexico. This is the match you've all been waiting for. Buzz versus Cole Quinn in the first ever Scrub Trap match. If you think this thing looks dangerous, that's because it is. In honor of tonight's Scrub Trap match, all fans in the first three rows were given free tetanus shots. Broadcasting from the former home of Monday Night Raw shows that BCW is making huge strides, and we couldn't have done it without your support. Seriously, this venue wasn't cheap. It cost about 50 high school gyms. Apparently, we're having some issues with our pay-per-view stream. It might even be down completely. If anyone could still hear this, we apologize, and we're trying to find out what's going on. After the pay-per-view, be sure to check out our new website where you can purchase all kinds of BCW swag, including my new favorite item, a BCW lunchbox, which is an homage to when our locker room was in an actual school cafeteria. because it was scrapped together from junkyard metal and old steel cages from other wrestling promotions and because it rhymes. I want to thank everyone again for joining us tonight for our second ever streaming pay-per-view live from WWE's old stomping ground. They shut it down? Damn it! Triple H, it had to be. These two guys are out here killing each other, and thanks to him, no one's seen him. No, I don't want to stop the match. There's still the live crowd here, and maybe we can release the video later. Damn it! This is the match you've all been waiting for. Buzz versus Cole Quinn in the first ever Scrub Trap match! If you think this thing looks dangerous, that's because it is. In honor of tonight's scrap trap match, all fans in the first three rows were given free tetanus shots. Casting from the former home of Monday Night Raw shows that BCW is making huge strides and we couldn't have done it without your support. Seriously, this venue wasn't cheap. It cost about 50 high school gyms. We call this the Scrap Trap because it was scrapped together from junkyard metal and old steel cages from other wrestling promotions and because it rides. Check out our new website where you can purchase all kinds of BCW swag, including my new favorite item, a BCW lunchbox, which is
was an homage to what our locker room was in an actual school cafeteria. Shut it down? Damn it! Triple H! It had to! But I'm afraid I got some bad news. What? Yeah, what happened? Our pay-per-view stream went down in the middle of your match. No one watching online got to see how it ended. <laughs> Did the site crash or something? What happened? No. We were taken down intentionally. By Triple H. Triple H? How could he even do that? He and WWE's lawyers are claiming they have exclusive rights to broadcast from this venue. <sighs> Damn it! And now we're getting flooded with refund requests. Don't think you're getting any bonus checks for this show, guys. I'm sorry. Does either of you know if you can return slightly used jet skis? I might have jumped the gun on purchasing a couple. We'll circle back to that later. First, Triple H unfairly pulls my contract from defending myself from an attack, and now he's trying to sabotage our business? We have to strike back. They have a team of lawyers and an endless supply of cash. You guys just competed in a cage made from an old prison fence. What could we possibly do to them? Well, you said it earlier. Tonight was like we're invading their territory, right? So, what if we actually did that? What do you mean? I mean, we hit Triple H exactly where it hurts the most by selling him used jet skis. Invading NXT. Invading NXT. Totally on the same page as you, Buzz. I don't know about this, guys. It seems risky. Why? We've both been rejected by WWE, so what do we have to lose, right? And this is what you wanted, Baron. You wanted this. You said it yourself. Our plan was to stick it to Triple H. So what do you say? I think we're gonna need a really big stick. That's what I'm talking about! Hey Cole, you got the tickets? Front row, just like you wanted. This is your electric bill. Oh, sorry. Wrong pocket. Huh. Thank you. This is it, Buzz. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. You guys remember when Triple H and DX invaded WCW? People still talk about that to this very day. This is going to be very good for us and BCW. Just be ready for anything. I'll be pulling for you. I was thinking after you get in there, you should cut a promo rather than get into a fight with anyone. Less risk of injury that way, right? I was thinking after... I thought we should jump someone tonight to really make an impact, but I trust your judgment. Big show is one you don't want to miss as Velveteen Dream takes on Adam Cole and what is sure to be... Uh, so, wait, sorry to interrupt, Michael, but something's going on in the crowd. Wait, wait, I recognize those two. 
Isn't that... Hey, 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 don't give them the attention they want by saying their names. Well, uh, now they've crossed the line. Can somebody do something about this? Apparently our visitors weren't satisfied with just being spectators. Triple H does not own us, and he obviously can't control us. We are Will dangerous. someone please get these idiots BCW, out of our ring? And we are going to At least cut their mic NXT. off. You will see us again. You want to cut my mic? Is that what you want to do? You just want to cut my mic? That's fine. That's fine. We... Oh, look. Get them out of here now. Come on, guys. Hey. Hi. What's up, guys? Come in the ring. We did what we needed to do. We're here now. We're here now. Get used to it. Down this way. I'm going. I'm going. Right here. You're going. Is this where you want us? Okay, we're going. We're going. We're going. You're welcome. Oh, he's got the right idea. He's got the right idea. I'm going. I'm going. We're here now. Suck it. Yeah. Uh-huh. 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 You want to go? You want me to go? I'm not going to stop. Awesome. Triple H must be losing it right now. I know. And even better, we're trending. Yeah. I know I had my doubts about this, but this kind of attention will really help our next BCW yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But before we get there, how are we going to strike next? What do you mean strike next? This wasn't a one-time thing? <laughs> oh, no. You, you're all about the buzz, right? You're all about the buzz? We got to keep this thing going. Yeah, I want to be trending nonstop. <laughs> Triple H, he's going to be ready for us next time, so we can't just buy tickets and walk in like we did tonight, okay? We need a different plan. I have an uncle who owns a costume shop. Our BCW shows were really taking off until Triple H shut down our stream. So why don't we forget this invasion stuff and just get back to running non-WWE venues? I guess it's because I've worked with Triple H before. And I've seen what happens when someone gets on his bad side. It's not going to end well. <laughs> or maybe you'll be the fool that proves the rule. That's because I just made it up. Do you like it? Bro, your uncle hooked us up. I know. And all he asked is that we plug his costume shop on NXT. It's kind of a weird request, I know, but this stuff's expensive, so I said we'd do it. Uh, okay. I was thinking we'd blend in with the fans better if we dressed up as classic wrestlers. It's a great idea. So who do you want to be? You know what would be hilarious? If we were DX and one of us was Triple H, that would really set him off. <laughs> oh, man. Guys, it's DX. See? You never know who's going to show up at NXT.
It appears these fans have gotten a little carried away. After last week, are we sure they're fans? Now, I'm skeptical to say the least. Are you ready? No! I said, are you ready? Theory confirmed. And so same two cowards who interrupted the show last week. Finally, some reinforcements have arrived. Yeah, these Indian faders may have gotten more than they bargained for.
I want you to tear them apart. I have no idea how these two survived the Authors of Pain, but hopefully Gargano and Cassius Ono can get the job done. Come on. Come on, Cletus. Come on. Let's go.
Oh, no. Now they're Finish in trouble. The Undisputed Era will put an end to this. Yeah, this is a rare time. I'm actually cheering for the Undisputed Era. No matter what your feelings are with the Undisputed Era, Byron, they represent NXT against these invaders.
Hey, Hunter, you mad, bro? I mean, I guess I would be too if a couple of indie guys infiltrated my show two weeks in a row and then beat up half my roster. Yeah, you guys are real clever, showing up here again in your cute little costumes. Actually, these awesome costumes are courtesy of Don's Costume Shop, Syracuse, New York. Dressing you up since 1993. And if you use the promo code Mr. CQ, you get a 10% off all wrestling costumes. Thanks, Uncle Don. Oh, and to Mom, Dad, Sally, and my dog Butternuts. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Thank you for supporting me in all of my endeavors. Look at me now! I made the big time, baby! Are you finished? Yeah, man. Anything else you want to plug, or...? BCW? Oh, yeah! You can catch more of the two of us on BCW when Triple H here isn't trying to shut down our shows. Listen, we can stand here and go back and forth, and then you can try to invade again next week in some other not-so-clever way. 
but I have a different proposal instead. You want to be on NXT so bad, you can come back and have an actual sanctioned match. I just happen to have the perfect opponent for you, Buzz. So what do you say? You got yourself a deal. That's great, because after next week, your life will be changed forever. What do you mean by that? I don't care, as long as it means we'll mm -hmm. never have to see these two losers again. Invaders are back again this week, this time for an official match with Buzz taking on Triple H's hand-picked opponent. I guarantee whoever Triple H chooses will be leaps and bounds above the competition that Buzz has faced on the indie circuit. Hey, guys. We wanted to make you feel at home, so we got you your very own locker room. What's the matter? Is it too big? <laughs> well, at least we have free toilet paper. It's kind of hard to prepare for my match when I have no idea who I'm facing. I would just be ready for anything. Yeah, I mean, I could be facing Braun Strowman because Triple H had me go against him in my tryout match? Maybe. You okay? You seem kind of distracted. Look, I'm just worried how this is going to turn out. I mean, for all of us, I warned you not to get on Triple H's bad side. Yeah, yeah, but with everybody here, it should be fine, right? I hope you're right. Look, I'm going to go see if I can find us an actual dressing room, okay? Hey, no matter what happens, I got your back tonight. I just have a strange feeling that Triple H is going to try to pull something over on you. He is the cerebral assassin, after all. He said this match would change your life forever. But what does that mean? Maybe it was some kind of clue. I guess when you win the lottery, it changes your life forever. Uh, people who win the lottery are millionaires. Maybe your opponent is the million-dollar man, Ted DiBiase. All right. Well, I'll keep thinking on it. Hey, no matter what happens, I just... All right. There's a feeling of tension in the air as Buzz is about to find out the identity of his opponent. Sorry, Buzz. I'm not your opponent tonight. But I did personally select him. You see, I did a little digging these past couple of weeks, and I was able to track down the person who cost you your shot at WWE. And that's who you're facing tonight. Come on out. No, it can't be! Who would have imagined? <laughs> Leave it to the Cerebral Assassin to pull off something like this. <laughs> I love it. And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this. He might have it. Looks like he has other plans here. I think he was just looking to soften him up a little here. Get up, man. Ooh, what an man. uppercut. What a stomp. Good. 
grief. He's not looking like himself here. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has plenty of energy in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. If things don't change in a hurry, this has all the makings of a short evening for him. You gotta believe this one's over! I got right to the gut! We're gonna lock it in here! I don't think he's got it completely locked in. Whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. He's calling for it. He wants no part of this. Suplex! He's in a little bit of trouble now. I don't think this is how he envisioned this match going here tonight. That confidence he had on his face at the start of this match sure has disappeared, and with good reason. He's taken quite a beating. Down with a power bomb. He has him right where he wants him. You better stay right where he is. He's such a tough... Buzz is desperately trying to find out the identity of the masked attacker. And there's just as much desperation on the masked attacker's part to hide their identity from Buzz. Whoa, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. He's in trouble. See if he takes the bait. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about gonna... to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. Ooh. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? He's lining him up. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Beautiful technique. He's starting to stagger a bit. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. I wouldn't call for the medics just yet, Cole. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. The good news for him is that his opponent's offense is likely packing a little less of a punch, considering all the damage he was able to inflict earlier in this match. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. He's going to do it. Is he done? Going for something else, it seems. I suspect he knows something that we don't, Cole. Why else would he just let him out of that hole? He's in control. He caught him slipping. Goodness, that hurt the shoulder. He's in big trouble. He has something big planned. Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. He's looking shaky. This could be the end. This could be huge. He's in full control now. Ooh, what impact. with a gun. Looking at it here. Harsh impact. That should do it. The first one was vicious, but somehow this one was even more devastating. Here it comes. He's got him. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. He's going to do it. Nice sidewinder suplex. That has got to be it. Buzz into the cover! Uh, the cover, and this one...
I swear, I had no idea about Baron. I'm just as shocked as you are. Just want to get out of here. What's the big hurry, Buzz? Don't you want to stay? Have some catering? I mean, it might be a good idea. Who knows where your next meal is going to be coming from after I just tore your little indie fed to pieces. I'm not hungry. We're not finished here. You guys thought you were so cute playing Invasion, but I have eyes and ears everywhere. And the moment they informed me Baron was the masked man that attacked you, I could not wait to light the fuse and watch everything blow up in your faces. You know, it took a bit of convincing to get Baron to do the match. I told him that I'd keep his secret, but I was going to expose him either way. So take your stuff, take your little buddy here, and go back to your rundown van and your rundown lives. Oh, wait. There's one more thing you might want to know. I bought your contract from Baron, which means I have control over you now. So you can also consider tonight your retirement match. Because as long as I am alive, you will never step foot in a ring again. Now we're finished. Hey guys, hold on a second. Yeah, we couldn't help overhear all that, and we have a different plan in mind. This doesn't concern you. Actually, it does. Yeah, as respective GMs of Raw and SmackDown, our job is to find the very best talent for our shows. And from what we've seen the past few weeks, and from his run on the indies, this man doesn't deserve to be sent off into early retirement. He deserves to be on the main roster. It'd be a waste to have him under contract sitting on the sidelines. You can stop right there. I've made my decision. Aren't you always using the phrase, what's best for business? He does always say that, Daniel. So, wouldn't putting your personal issues with a talent aside in order to make SmackDown... Or Raw. ...the best show possible be the exact definition for what's best for business? Fine. He's your problem now. You might have been bailed out this time, but I will never forget what you did. So what's it gonna be? I think you'd be right at home on Team Blue. Or you could be a part of WWE's flagship show, Monday Night Raw. <laughs> this has been an emotional night, and uh, uh, this is a lot to take in. But if I have to make a decision right now, I've got to go where I think I have the best opportunity to showcase my wrestling style, and that's on SmackDown. Yes! 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 Hear that? There's a buzz on SmackDown. <laughs> Congrats, man. I don't agree with your decision, but I respect it. And if I've learned anything in my career, it's never say never. So who knows? Maybe you end up competing on Raw someday. In the meantime, good luck. Thank you. Buzz is now headed for SmackDown Unbelievable. Live! Unbelievable.